SVB on your left and on your right is Jerigo Banyares. Looks like Shane will be breaking first. Here we go, SVB for the break. Captain America, here we go. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Got the three down. Shane had an ample amount of time to practice the table. Been shooting banks and endless break shots. Extension. Okay, got into trouble. He was really planning to bump the eight, but unfortunately the cue ball went behind the five. He needs to go airborne. Oh, that's a foul. Well, not sure how. Maybe the shirt touched the nine. Hmm. Here comes Benares. Benares with ball in hand. Banyares looking very confident. Two balls away to take the opening rack. Opening break belongs to Shane, but the opening rack belongs to Jericho Banyares. We're going to start to read the comments after this rack. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Banyares wasn't able to get a ball down. Left an open rack here for Captain America. Great shot. Looks like same pocket for the four. A 
Okay, so he just hold or held position, taking the four to the side. Well, as Shane takes on this, these balls here, I have to say to all viewers out there and to you, AJ, that this has to be a dream come true. Dream come true indeed. <laughs> Never have I imagined that I'll be covering the greatest pool player in the world right now. That's right. SVB is in the house, guys. Bump on the five shouldn't be a problem. Also, would you believe for the longest time this was in preparation, the schedules, the dates, all those announcements, finally, finally, it is happening here at Sharks. Nice recovery there. We're going to be tied at one pretty soon. Three balls away for Shane. SVB breaking. We're going to be seeing a lot of his breaks here at Sharks. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. One looks like the nine is in the way. There you go. On the way down. Nice break from Shane. He now on the four, the pink four here, Shane Van Boning shooting at this. Looks like he's playing maybe two rails or three. Two rails back for the eight, uh, for the five. And the eight. And the eight. <laughs> there you go. What kind of helps him out there? Could have been a scratch. Well, the six to the seven, not exactly sure if he goes two rails or just one, possibly two. Okay. Settled for short side for the seven. Shane Van Boning takes the third rack against Jericho Banyares. Another win for Captain America. That was a nice break.
Panyaris to Break Once again brought to us by Ropa Commercial Seven ball denied To the other corner But gets to drop in the other corner pocket Unfortunately No open shot on the one Well this has to be The aspect where Jericho Banyares is at A disadvantage mm -hmm. Push. Push out Well, he goes for a push out, and I'm not going to be surprised if Shane is going to be jumping over this five. Definitely. One more quarter pass. Definitely jumping over the five. Well, he was planning to draw that cue ball. Oh, well, maybe he just caught it just a bit too thick. Side. Two balls, side pop. Option. Wait a minute. Well, he didn't call that he shot. Option for Banyares. Well, that was a tough call. If you were to call that. <laughs> yeah. Who would have thought making that on the side would be That's easy? That's right. Kaya hindi niya tinawag yung yung dos don kasi hindi naman talaga niya plano papasukin sa side. That's pretty much right. So here is a chance for Banyares Panday to tie things up. Right now it's new tablecloth just been installed a couple of days ago, a few days ago, I believe. Last Monday. That's right, last Monday. So New cloth, new set of balls. That's right. So let's see if Jericho Banyares can easily adjust with the conditions that we have here at Sharks. Oh. Uh -oh. Well shot. Misjudgment there. Ball in hand. If he had, if he had held nicely for, was that the five? Yes, that was the five. Yeah. Well, if he, he had, hadn't, if he had a straight shot, would have been, been easier. That is right. It's gonna be a, a gift here for Shane. I think it was the spin that took the cue ball to the scratch. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, Shane Van Boning is going to be getting his third point with this. And here we go. SVB to break. Once again, brought to, uh, brought to you by one of our sponsors, that is Ropak Monstrous break from Shane, as always. But this time, nothing down. Okay, so not exactly sure what he's going for here, but he's called a pocket. Well, he's going for it. And well, with a slick cloth, easy for him to make that go in, even, even though it hits the rail a bit too early. Okay, now with the two, two ball to the side, maybe using the four? Possibly. Probably, I believe. Just like that. Well, he has landed fairly straight with this three. Might be drawing, get closer for that pink. Maybe playing a combination of the four to the six. Settles for short side. Doesn't fancy the four six.
Well, he's going to settle for this five to the side. It's looking like an open layout now, so big possibility he's going to be running out from this point. Yes, and with three balls left here, going to be easy for Banyares. Quickly, you can see him taking aim on this eight. The fearless eyes of Jericho. That's right. Well, it goes to show Jericho Banyares never intimidated with Shane Van Boning. Jericho gets his second win. Van Boning still leading three games to two. That was an ugly looking layout, but he was able to run, to run out. <laughs> Nicely done. That break is brought to us by Rapa. Again, nothing down for Jericho. Not exactly an easy layout here for Shane. You can see how he, how his facial response is with the layout. And recognizing the difficulty of getting position on the two, he decides to just play a safe. One ball side pass. Well, this guy is pretty much really good when it comes to the kicking game. Thanks to his rotation play here in the Philippines. Good reply. That's right, but I think he has left maybe a combination here. A 1-3. Possible 1-3 combination. Might be going rail first. Or might be swerving the cue ball because the 7 looks to be, well, in the way. Well, he was going for a safety once again. Not too bad. We have Ang Kabiteño Eric Salud watching with us. Thank you for translating the word Panday to our foreign viewers. Panday, loosely translated as a blacksmith or a sword maker. Well, nice kick, but he is selling out here for Shane, so... Pretty much we know what's up next. Well, if there's going to be a problem, it looks like it's going to be the six. Position for the six. Yeah, that's right. He's going to figure something out along the way. Well, there's a possibility if he uses top left spin here going to the three might be bumping the four I don't can't exactly tell precisely depending on the angle he has on this two Decides to play it pretty simple. Might be breaking up the 6 and the 8 as well. The shot. Maybe, maybe later. Mm. 
landed a bit funny on the four. That's right, too much angle. He's got to have to avoid traffic here. Pretty much addressed by Shane easily, but now it's time for him to decide how he wants to play the six. Maybe a combination or... Well, let's see. Three rails. or oh, there you go. Direct. Uh, I mean, a straight draw. Six ball to the side. Well, let me rephrase a bit. A straight, sweet draw. Straight, sweet draw. <laughs> <laughs> Easily done by SVB. He has a very iconic uh, stroke. Backswing, yeah. Obviously self-taught. Plays like a machine, really. Got in to see him warm up a bit. Well, it's pretty different when you see it from the monitor or when you're seeing it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. As opposed to seeing it live. Definitely. Nine ball to the corner. Four games to two in favor of Shane Van Boning. This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Got the two and the three. And somehow a decent opening shot on the one. Pretty much decent for him. He can easily reach over the shot. Still okay? Uh, yes, well, he almost made it and got position as well for the pink four, but well, One. that's the very first miss we One, four, we've seen here. Oh, oh and he just lost the cue oh, ball. Yeah. Banyares giving a ball in hand to Shane. Balls out in the open, so we know what to expect from this guy. Looks like he's drawing this. Not too bad, nice position. Just about maintaining good position in every ball. Well, even if he gets straight here on the seven, that monster draw of Shane wouldn't be a problem for him. Here we are, the monster draw, as I was saying. Pretty soon it's going to be 5 2. That's right. Pretty much comes in handy when you have that much Q power. Q power and precision, that is. And there you go, Sheer. Here we go. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. But first, he needs to figure out the break. That's right. 
And we all know that Shane Van Boning is really a good breaker. Is it is it a term? Breaker? <laughs> well, uh, if I correct you with something there, it's not about... It's not... He's not a good breaker. He's the best breaker in the best. world. One of the best. Not one of the best. He's the best. Oh, right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Quote, unquote, coming from one of the best in the world. Number one SVB fan here. <laughs> Believe me, it was Dennis Orculio. Who just said. Who, yes, mm. it came from him. Okay. The best breaker of the world. Well, being a fanboy, I'd say the best breaker of all time. And he's going to end this rack with a 310 to the side. That's right. There you go, that quick. Yeah. Van Boning. Here we go, SVB to break. Let's see. Once again. That break is brought to us by Ropa Commercial. And well, one of the few times we're going to be seeing SVB slip up. Chance for Banyaras. Well, this is going to be his chance to cut away from that damp lead of Shane. And definitely he has to capitalize with every bit that Shane gives him. Quickly, Jericho Banyares is now down to his last three balls. Could he be getting a point off Shane's break? Jericho will finally get a win after he sinks the 10. Win number three. This break is brought to us by Rapa. And another dry break by Jericho Banyares. Chance maybe for Shane to get a safety here. Definitely. With his height, it's going to be easy for him to lean over and take on maybe a safety on this one. Not sure if he has gotten it safe, but definitely Jericho Banyares can kick at this. Could see enough of the one. Oh, and this is going to be well open, I mm, believe. Definitely he was planning to hide the cue ball behind the eight. That's right. Looks like Shane can either use the three or the eight. Going to be hooking Jericho Banyares behind either of those balls. Looks like the eighth ball. Oh, oh. one is makeable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, camera fooled me once again, all the time.
So mm -hmm. how does he want to approach the pink four? Uh, four ball to the side or maybe a four five combination? Well, looks like four to the side and I believe he's going to be bouncing off two rails. Possibly getting on to the head rail. Just like this. But not to this side. <laughs> I was imagining the other side pocket, but he got perfect here. Well, all of a sudden, we know what's next. And, well, he's going to be playing position. He's going to be making a lot of precision here because he wants to be fairly straight on the 7. Well, this is just a bit too short. Mm -hmm. Well, you could always go for a bank and come around for the 8. That's Let's right. Let's see. SVB special coming right up. Oh, bank pool champion at the Derby City Classic. So this guy has it all. Definitely. There you go. Such a beautiful shot. DJ Khaled says another one. Wow. Once again to that corner pocket. Lightning strikes twice. Mm. And it was the two ball once again. It's the two ball once again that kicked the cue ball to that corner. That is right. Deja vu. Or how would you call it? I don't know. <laughs> well, I could call it as a chance for Banyares. It's an open layout, fairly open layout, but he has to negotiate position here for the red three. Apparently, after ball in hand on that one, now he is facing a challenge. Jericho Banyares looks like he wanted to be straighter on this two for the corner. Well, I'd say if he makes this three, he's going to be running out. Might be slow rolling this. Take the four to the side pocket. He's going to be catching the low rail back for the five, just like that. So far, so good for Pandai. Our referee, Jainard Orke, really looking uh, dapper today. And yeah, of course, looking closely on that nine. And nice use of spin here by Jericho Banyares. Looks like he's going to be taking the 8 on the same pocket. Where he's making the 7. Playing 2 rails position or possibly 3.
And it's about time to, to cut Shane's lead here. Two balls away. Banares gets win number. Well, here goes Jericho Banares looking to break and maybe get something nice in his favor. Looking to definitely catch up. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Well, looks like he made the one ball to the side, a cut break. Doesn't land nicely here in the two, so it's going to be a challenge. Definitely might be going for a push out. Pushed for a jump, jump combination, 2-3 to the side. Three ball, side pocket. Side pocket, side pocket. Doesn't look like something Shane is going to be giving back. Well, doesn't sell out, I believe bit lucky there Two. Two. bit of spin real first oh <laughs> there you go And it doesn't look like he landed on the right side of the four. Getting to the five, it's going to be a challenge once again for Jericho Banares. Going to be pounding this really hard. shot there on the six has gotten nicely here on the seven well it looks like he's going to be cutting the lead down to two after a jump combination attempt coming from Shane Van Boning well Jericho Banyar is now pretty much asserting his skill here Number five for Jericho Banares. Van Boning still leading seven games. Commercial. Uh, well, he got all the of four. I uh, never expected the four to go in, but he hit it so hard. Apparently, the four finally creeped in that corner. Jason Foster asking about the pocket size. We're dealing with a four and one-fourth, right? Four and a half, I believe. Four and a half? That's right. Mm, okay. <coughs> Looks like Jericho Banyares has his hands full now. After a safety played there by Shane. Gonna be going behind the one, I believe. Playing three rails. 
Good. Just two. Oh, that great was a shot. That's right. That was a great shot. Nice reply. Close. Once again, this is an alternate break format. So every every other rack, we're going to be seeing SVB to break as well as Jericho Banyares. Not sure if he has gotten Banyares hooked behind the two, but... Well, looks, looks like an open shot to me. That's right. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. So apparently, Jericho Banyares is hooked by the two just a bit. And he just gave up an open shot here. Nice opening shot there, and look at the control on the white. That is perfect, I believe. And definitely the five goes past the ten. I believe that's where he is going to be taking that five on. One of a few advantages that Shane has over Jericho Banyares, it's going to be easy for him queuing over a number of balls, especially with his height. I think he's at six feet. Yes, that's what he said. Six he's feet in height. Six foot tall guy, Shane Van Doning. Combined with those long forearms. I believe that's where he gets his power when it comes to breaking those long forearms of Shane. I believe the same. Well, earlier he was practice practicing his break, and would you believe he generates a lot of power breaking using his playing shaft, his yeah. playing cue. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. A that while was ago. surprising. And for your information, guys, he's playing with an 11.8. Once again, this break is brought to us by one of our sponsors, Rapa Commercial. AZB Dizzy saying, I have long forearms, can't break like Shane. Well, so do I. <laughs> well, Mr. Raymond Phillips, you might be right. And well, it's a chance here for Jericho Banyares, but apparently I think the five is going to be a problem. Five, six cluster. That's right. Looks like the five goes to the farther corner pocket. Where the nine is. Where the nine is, as well as this corner pocket on the bottom left of your screens. So let's see how he approaches the five. Lots of inside. There you go. Yeah, 
Hey, I'd like to say hello to a good friend of mine. It's Eri Niman. Eri Niman, how you doing, dude? Definitely, cue ball is going to be tracking towards the seven. Towards the seven, he's going to be avoiding that by jacking up. Wow, nice control. Okay, now I could safely say he's out from here. Seven ten combination. Jericho yeah, cuts yeah, Shane's yeah. lead to just two. That's and here's Shane. This break is brought to us by one of our sponsors, Ropa Commercial. Nice break, as always. That was a, another monster break coming from Shane. We're getting used to see it now. At first, doesn't look like a ball would be going in, but with all that power, always on the final moment, makes a ball to fall. Well, was that a misjudgment from Shane? Can't tell. It looks like he was going for his safety. Maybe he was trying to back the one, two rails, use the seven as a blocker. Mm -hmm. Well, he's wow. just checking wow. now, Jericho wow. Banyares, if the two and the eight are wired. It is a wired combination. Oh, but he just missed the opening shot. Oh. Mm. Right when he was shooting, the shot clock, the alarm went off. So that could be the reason. Maybe he threw him off. Very long bridge. He's cute. He's bridging over almost. That was that was the joint. <laughs> One rail position for the four to the side. Gonna be shooting this with spin. Not exactly what he wanted. We can see that the cue ball suddenly. Well, it got closer to the 10 as it was rolling towards it. Not a problem. Three rails position for the 6. Looking to avoid running into the 10. Or wait, look at this. He's going to be drawing. Going around the 9. Thank you, Jason Foster over at YouTube. Very kind of you to say. <laughs> well, Shane just makes it look easy whenever he draws that cue ball off any ball. Mr. Eri Niemann this coming September 22 to 24. Definitely it's going to be a Shane Van Boning and Orculio rematch. <laughs> I think he's referring to that money match in the U.S. Yeah. 
Here comes Jericho Banyanes looking for his seventh win. This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Okay, he got the one and the two down. Three ball available to the side. Nice break. Shout out to Eugene Tabora. Eugene Tabora. This is going to be a nice match if Jericho Banyares keeps up with this. Definitely. Break shot talaga yung kailangan dito. That's right. It's always going to be about the break. Well, and obviously, pocketing skills, shot making skills, and position play were is going to be factoring in. Break and run out from Panday. Jericho Banyares gets win. Number seven. Break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Nice break. Okay, not sure if the five goes to the corner. Well, it looks like it does. With this kind of layout, it's going to be 10-7 any minute. And any minute now.
Van Boning leading 10 yeah. games to games. seven. So please do enjoy. Once again, a break brought to you by one of our sponsors, Ropa Commercial. Well, this is going to be tough. Tough opening shot for Jericho. Well, he could just roll the one in, maybe settle for a 2-6 afterwards. Oh. Well, that was a miss coming from Banyares and, well, uh, SVB now shooting at the one. And definitely going for a combination here on the six. Still has to address possibly the pink four as to how he takes that on as he gets there. Here we are. Well, thinking three balls ahead, Shane is possibly once an angle here on the red three. Thank you, Rami Helmi over at YouTube. Um, uh, there's a possibility he bumps into the pink four, the nine in the pink four with this shot. Left himself a nice angle here on the red. Wait a minute. Four ball to the side. There you go. Four to the side. I think he was looking to bump the seven more. Or maybe he was looking really for position. Uh, can't tell. We will never know. We'll never know. <laughs> it's a quite tricky of a layout that we have here. Maybe bump the nine a bit. Okay. Totally avoiding any contact there. Oh, look like a puzzle. He's about to solve it. SVB. As always. Well, this looks like it's done, this rack. That w this was f coming from the brick of Jericho Banyares. Pretty much SVB showing off his skills when it comes to straight pool. Straight pool, that's right. That's right. Different kind of game. Totally a different kind of game. A lot of problem solving involved there. No, uh, rematch. Nila. That is right. Walang kabitin bitin. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Nothing down for Shane. Push out for Banyares. Well, I, I believe he tried something different there. He broke from the setter. Well, he broke from the dead center of the r off the table. I mean, inside the kitchen. With this lead, I think he's trying things out. Could you believe that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he could afford to maybe lose a rack or so. Yeah, with this lead, a four-game lead. Yeah, definitely. Yes, he's just trying it out, and well, lucky for him, they didn't sell out. But he has given this back to Jericho. Yeah, definitely was looking at that one-eight oh. carom. Well, not intentionally having the eight bump the one out in the open. Mm -hmm. Another open layout for SVB. Well, 
Well, with that, well, misfortune a bit coming from Jericho Banyares. It looks like once again, Shane, he's going to be running out. No complicated layouts here. Maybe the three to the side or the corner. It's going to be an option. Well, obviously, now to the side. A bit too much of an angle here, but easy for him to make a recovery. has landed nicely here on the brown seven easy for him to get position on the eight it looks like pretty much Shane is free stroking now maybe earlier <laughs> he started free stroking Van Boning looking really loose Twelve games to seven in favor of Captain America SVP. Looking to catch up is Jericho Banyares with this break brought to us by Rapa Commercial. One ball to the side. Does he get good on the next? He's okay. He could easily get the three to the corner between the nine and four. Hello there, Mr. Sean Apple over at Facebook. Nice to see you here. Wow, so this is not ideal position on the pink four. Gonna be tough. And will he place a safety? Kick is available. Let's see what he does here. Looking at the foot rail. Taking measurements. SVB. And the foul extracted from SVB. Jericho Banyares is going to be getting a chance. landed fairly straight on this purple five and well very much doable for him still but could have been easier for him stuns that cue ball getting closer to the six and well looks like it's going to be a run out Almost got into trouble there with the 10. He's still good on the 7. Taking it to the side. Wow, 
three rails position using lots of spin inside spin that is not always an easy shot but for these guys especially this one looks like a walk in the park hello there Nick Patrick There you go, SV. This break is brought to us by Roba Commercial. Looks like a dry break to me. On the other hand, an opportunity for Banyares. Definitely, he wants to get closer to this blue. Well, it gets perfect for the side. And I'll try not to jinx him this time. Pretty much easy for the guy. This time, he's going to be using the mechanical bridge. himself a nice angle on the four just good enough for him to slide towards the center angle on the five would be nice just like this lands kind of flat here on the green six but not a problem, you can always draw. Just going towards the center. The thing is, he doesn't need to be perfect on the black. For as long as he has a shot on the eight ball, that's gonna be okay for him. I see a familiar name here over at YouTube, William Roberge. Thank you for watching. Nice to see you again. Well, it looks like Banyares is going to be getting a win off Shane's break. And that's going to be nice for him. Win number eight for the blacksmith. Banyara is still needing a lot of catching up to do here. Van Boning still leading 13. Just by Ropa Commercial. Well, as Shane runs out, as he tries to run out this layout, let me answer a question here from YouTube, Mr. Slipstroke. Final event, because we usually here at Sharks, we have three events happening every day. So first, second, and the final event normally happens at evening time here in the Philippines. So just tune in. You're going to be seeing lots of professional matches 
being aired, streamed live here at Sharks. Okay. He was looking carefully if the three goes, but it yeah, it goes. Cuba control though is uh, not on point. Well, he was trying to kill the cue ball, just slide it a bit, maybe before it got behind the nine, and well, could be the table conditions changing. Oh, oh wow, there you go. <laughs> There's right. our answer. Nice kick there. Still a problem on the five. Seven ball in the way of the five. Well, he decides to play a safety. It would have been better for him if the cue ball was really s close to the eight, taking away an easy one rail kick. But this, Banyadis can easily hit. Looks like he's going to be getting a lot of distance in between. And Great reply from Jericho. That's Great right. Great reply. Well, AJ, if what? Banyaris did was a great reply. What do you call this? Also a great reply. <laughs> Though he has left half of the five, so Banyaris will take the cue ball back to where he is. Back down table, making good use of those balls at the middle. So another great reply, I believe. That's right. Looks like he can see a bit of the five. Well, he has used a kick. Where is this landing? It's going to be a sellout now. Chance for Banyares. Once again, cut the lead down to four. And this 10 ball for Jericho Banyares finally one trying to catch up. SVB to break. Once again, brought to you by one of our sponsors, Brapa Commercial. Really hit it so hard and he made the four ball to go. Not sure if he can play the one off the seven or maybe carom off the seven. See what he does. Maybe he's looking at a billiard. Seven ball to the side. 
Well, what do we know? <laughs> so apparently, oh, okay. So definitely, he was really going for the brown seven. Oh, I see. He wasn't able to call the one to the side. Now it's an open layout for Pandai. Well, it's going to be a chance now for Jericho Banyares. Uh, quite a smirk there from the guy because looks like he had more angle at this shot than he would have wanted. Still not a problem. You are very welcome, Mr. Joe Straussner over at Facebook. And with this 10 ball, looking to catch up, just going to be trailing by three points. Jericho Banyares. Here we go. Looking for win number 11. That break is brought to us by Roba Commercial. One ball to the side, textbook break. And he gets a good shot on the next. Very productive break from Jericho. Well, it looks like he has changed strategies now, going for a harder break. He should. Well, unintentionally bumping the seven, that's mm. not going to do him any good. Yeah. He was hoping to bounce, of course, taking the three to the corner. Now he's going to be forced to hide the cue ball behind the seven. He really needs to get a good lock. There you go. Well, this is nice, but looks like the one real kick is available for Shane. Going to be looking to get a nice roll after bumping the three. Hello to Brian Carroll, hey, Houston Greenlee. And thank you very much, Mr. David Platner, Extension over one. at Facebook. Joseph Evans sending us 50 stars. Thank you very much. Well, nice kick, but he's going to be selling out. Total sellout. Three passes to five. Not a problem. Gonna be drawing, taking the fourth at the side. Gonna be coming around three rails back for the five. Same pocket for the six. So far, so good for Banyares. Well, with this, it looks like the eight goes either to the side pocket or the corner. It's all a matter of choice for Jericho. Well, it looks like he's landed on the 50-yard line. Now it becomes a question where he wants to take this. Both well, he's pockets. considering the side. Okay, so the side. It's going to be tough either pocket with mm -hmm. this shot. Especially being close to the rail. Expansion code. Eight. Eight side pocket. Cue ball. Oh. 
you have to feel for Jericho. That's right. Well, poor position play on the eight has cost him this rack. He was about to catch up, getting on to his 11 point, just to be trailing two points from Shane, but this is going to be punished with this. Punished indeed. Win number 14 for SVB. You can see there he was possibly looking to hit the foot rail first. Apparently failed to do so. And so with that, Shane well, he gets a gift. Another he is going to be trying something out now, breaking from the side. Not common to see not common to see him break from the side though. One ball denied to the side pocket. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Once again he could afford trying out things. It's a long race and we're in day one or the first night. And he's leading by four points, so Sure, you shouldn't harm him. Oh, it's a nice safety now played by Jericho Banyares. Tucking that cue ball behind the six. Looks like it's going to be tough. How about an intentional foul? Maybe. Maybe doing that. Well, he has called the one. Wow. That was close. Does the three pass the six? Mm. Can't tell for sure, but there's always a combination. Well, how he's positioned this. Jericho Banyares looks like the three goes, but he's going to be using well, the mechanical bridge. Or the rake. <laughs> Tiririt in Filipino. Mm -hmm. Three, there you go. Everything out in the open for Pandai. Stun across for the six. Not exactly mm, where he wanted to be. That's right, definitely, because he's going to be queuing over the nine. Shouldn't be a problem. Hold for the eight, where the seven is. Two rails, nine to the side. And this should be win number 11 for Jericho. And there you go. So from Lancaster, California. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Gets the two down. Shot on the one. Looking pretty good, except for that three. Yes, it's the three. He's going to be forced to play a safety here. He's going to be getting close. 
I was imagining he, him playing a stop using the nine as a ball to hook the cue ball on but now looks like he's going to be drifting this cue ball past the four well he almost grazed the four there but mm -hmm. he's okay he's okay he has left a kick for SVB Wow. Good result. Good result, really. Hasn't left anything here for Jericho. Committed the foul there, Jericho Banyares. It looks like SVB is going to be getting a point in his favor with that shot. What a reply there. Well rounded game. Back shots, kick shots. Everything. Everything. <laughs> Completos recados, as we say. Possibly a 6-9 combination coming up after this. Maybe a 6-9 carom. Let's see. Could be a 6-9 carom. You are right. Billiard on the 9. Wants that cue ball to just... There you go. Just like that. Close on the rail, but not a problem for SVB. And so for 15 points right now, SVB is 10. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Nice break. Look at this. Where does the one go? Ooh. Four ball. What a party pooper. Four ball spoils the fun. <laughs> Well, on the other hand, makes it more interesting for us mm -hmm. here. That's right. Push, push out. Well, that looked Nothing to be a but a push out. That's yeah. right. Looked to be a perfect break coming from SVB, except for the four. Mm -hmm. Reset the clock, please. Okay, maybe thinking of a uh, two rail kick, sending the one up table. Well, in my Filipino accent, what a shot. <laughs> what a shot. <laughs> that was a nice kick there, but looks like he has left something here for Jericho. Yeah, left half of the one. That's going to show. One goes well, looks like the one goes either to the side or the corner. Let's see. Side it is. And... 
Well, fairly long here on the two, but not going to be a problem for SVB. shot there nice <laughs> shot but he raises his hand in apology there looks like he felt he got lucky shaking his head there he's gonna be queuing over the brown seven and it looks like he has gotten fairly straight on the pink four he's still okay He just left himself a nice angle here on the seven. Looks to be going three wheels position for the nine. With nice speed as well. Perfect. SVB getting on to his 16th point with this 10 ball. Just five more wins. It's a dry break coming from Banyares and open layout here for Shane. Barring any unforeseen errors coming from Shane Van Boning, well, it's going to be another point in his favor. It's going to be tough for ba Banyares, getting dry a lot of times. Looks like he overdrew this one. Maybe quite a bit of spin. Lesser spin would have been better. Shout out to Team Rafales, Rafales, Team Rafales from Jerwin Paradise. Wow, he used the six as a stopper here for the four and the eight as a combination. Quite a shot. Uh, well, that was always available, but the precision he needed the order for him to get the shot was quite quite amazing okay he landed well on that area where the side pocket is easy to make the four but position for the five the cue ball might be going a bit wild here and he wants to use the nine. Would you look at this? <laughs> there you go. Wow. Once again, what a shot. Maynard Raymond Faundo watching over Facebook. That's Good quite. evening. Yes, Mr. Faundo. Thanks for tuning in. A good friend of ours, Maynard. Well, this is that was quite, quite a shot played by Shane. He really had to play uh, play with a lot of precision to bump the nine that was amazing
We are looking at a 17-11 scoreline pretty soon. Soft draw coming from SVB. 10 ball to the side. 17 and leading by 6 points. Nonilon Liag from Oriental Mindoro. Maraming salamat po. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Check this out. Nothing down. Chance for Banyares once again. That's right. And a good friend of ours here on YouTube Live, it is Doc. Robin Medina. Hi, Doc Robin. <laughs> nice to see you here. All the way from Pampanga. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. Well, Jericho Banyares has to capitalize on this opportunity he got from Shane. Seldomly we see Shane come up with a dry break. With this open layout, Jericho Banyares, well, we can assume he runs out. Mr. McFly, Ariel, yes, it's a race to 63, a long match, AJ. So a lot of things can happen. Funny things, weird things, unbelievable things may happen. But pretty much the objective of each player is to capitalize on every opportunity they get. It's hard to tell how one or two or maybe a few or several errors could affect the whole, the entirety of the match, the outcome yeah. that is. This break by Banyares is brought to you by Ropa Commercial. Well, nice for Banyares. He makes a ball off that break. Looks like to be... Mm, can't tell. Looks like he made the 9. Going to be tough for him to cue over the 7. So he's going for his cue extension. Looks like he was going for a safety. Apparently, he has left the one open for SVB. Hello to Mike Sandoval, John Mosica from Utah. Well, that was a bit too bad there. Apparently, an opportunity for Banyares to maybe get a safety. on he left the three hanging for Jericho oh, quite a rack I mean could be that Shane is getting a bit Let's say carefree with a lead of five points and being the first day. Well, nobody loses tonight. Oh, 
same niya? pocket for uh, go, go ahead well same pocket right but Jericho is gonna be taking this any day okay good angle good angle to just roll the seven in this 10 ball for his 13th win Hello to Jason Day watching over Facebook. Mr. Ben Kleinfelter. And who else? We have Hiro Unisa. <laughs> si Hiro. Happy viewing. Adam Ledlow. Or Ledlow. RJ Morales. This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Van Boning gets a dry break. He was hoping for the four to go down. Hello to Victor Umali of Vicars. Ayan, uh, enjoy ka lang dyan, Vic. <laughs> Two to the side, maybe using the nine and the six. There you go. To hold for the three. Bit of challenge here. Queuing over the ten. It's a good thing the four's just sitting where the side pocket is. from Banyares. Mm, okay. I think SVB is uh, kind of stuck behind the 10 or could he still spin a bit oh, I could see okay so he could see the 4 thought he w thought he got hooked there same pocket here for the 6 That could have been Jericho's rack. SVB will get his 18th win with this 10 ball. This break is brought to us by Rob. Four yeah. ball. There you go. <laughs> That's right. The four. You got me there. Got me first there. So 
But the one, it looks like he can still make this. He could still snip this in. One ball, quarter pop. Oh, a, lump, a lot of balls being bumped there. Still lands a shot on the two. Easily, he can avoid the nine, but he's digging down, as we can see here. Hello to Sofia Flores from Alfonso. Doc Enrico. Doc Enrico Ang with us tonight. Thank you for tuning in. Looks like it's going to be quite a challenge shooting over the eight, I believe. As you can see here, he's going to be he's going to be leaning pretty much over the half of the table. You can see there, pretty much dissatisfied with the result. Jericho Banyares has to come up with a nice shot on this seven. Nice kill action. Gets the seven to drop, three balls away. And nice draw action. Gets an angle on the nine. Well, this is going to be his rack. He's going to be trailing by four points after he makes the ten. win number 14 for Jericho. This break is brought to us by Robert Commercial. Another monstrous break. Two ball denied to the corner. Nothing down. Shot on the one for Jericho. One ball to the side. Well, the Sahara is back. The Sahara table. The Sahara desert. <laughs> That's right. One one viewer one time was giving a comment here on maybe Facebook or YouTube. As dry as the Sahara Desert. And has a shot here on the two. Might be taking the three to the side. Is that possible? Looks to be a tough I shot. I think he could. I think he could. Three ball to the side. Three ball, corner pocket. Okay, so three ball to the corner. Up and down side rails, back for the four. Yes, well, it's going to be a nice shot here coming from Banyares if he makes it. Well, there you have it. A nice shot. Great shot. into trouble stuck behind the nine needs to get a good one real kick or does he have enough well it looks like he's going for a kick 
Well, he's running out of time this time. This not going to do. Total sellout. Well, these are the kinds of opportunities that Jericho Banyares has to be capitalizing on if he's going to be catching up. Looks like we have a spectator's curse. <laughs> Eddie Neiman saying Banyares heating up, but he spoke too soon. <laughs> Bit thick there on the six, but makes it go anyhow. And, well, another point for Shane. I haven't seen Shane make too much mistakes here in this match. So far, two scratches on the break. That's going to be it. It has to be it. Now he has 19, leading by five points once again. And that break is brought to you by one of our sponsors, Rapa Commercial. He makes the one, but... Nothing on the two. Nothing on the two. Looking to be pushing out this time once again. Watch out. Always a question as to where this guy pushes right now. Push to an open shot. Definitely can afford to take risks, especially being in the first night or first day of this match. Okay, so going short, the two off the second rail went just a bit short, thereby leaving a shot here for Jericho Banyares. Looks like he can make it. Okay. Well, couldn't avoid traffic. Bit too bad there. Almost a super disaster. Goes for a kick. Looking to be a safe. That was a good kick. Good kick. That was... As much as he could have done in that shot. Van Boning looks to be using maybe the cluster here as blockers. Well, he has called the bank. Let's see about. Let's see how this turns out. Ooh. Well, a double kiss. A double kiss that led to a scratch. Banyares with full control. again not exactly where he wanted to land quite a compromise here mm -hmm. not a good sight for Jericho well, that is right mm -hmm. 
Oh. Just a bit too bad here. Yeah. Well, looks like he's walking with a with a feel of resignation. He tried to hit the seven with pocket speed, but that hit was too thick. Too thick of a hit. That's right. Could have swerved going into the seven. Overran position quite a bit, but still not a problem. Especially when you're leading by five points. And nice shot, nice use of check side to get close to the 10 for his 20th point on the hill for the first night. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Blue two down. And the cue ball. And the cue ball. Mm. Ito na yung hinihintay ni Jericho. Tries to cut it in, fails to do so. Look at the shot. Great shot there. Good speed. Using the six. But he left the jump here for SVB. Oh, I won't be surprised if he tried to jump with his break cue. Well, that was surprising. If he tried to jump with his break you then he had the extension on it. Th that was that was a really difficult shot. Uh, but Banyaris is still not out of the woods yet. It's still a problem here on the four and the ten. ten balls, Looks like he's going for a safety here. Or maybe a bank on the ten. He tried it out. Oh, and well, with this, the four goes past the five. Corner for the four. That's right. Okay, now down to the last four balls of this rack. Looks like this night is going to be over. It's the beginning of the end of the first night. Start of the end. Three balls away for SVB.
Day one belongs. This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Breaking at the center of the table. Lots of ball action, but nothing down. Well, he finds a way to not make a ball, not leave a shot. Mm -hmm. And once again, this is AJ Ong with Aris, the Professor Freeze Almario. Good evening, po sa lahat ng ating Sharkanatics. Good shot. Nicely done. Well, finally, it looks like an open day out here. This is the Jericho Banyaris that I know. That's right. Same pocket for the red three. Two rails, back for the four, four ball to the side, just a slow roll to hold for the five. Well, nicely held cue ball before the five. We are seeing referee Jaynard Orke on the side, along with Joel Calzado, referee Joel Calzado that is. Okay, good angle here. Maintain the good angle to get to the seven. Pretty much it looks like Jericho Banyaris is going to be catching up just a bit. Pandai slowly catching up, getting his 16th win. Two and that break is brought to you by one of our partners here, Ropa Commercial. Another successful break. Yes, successful break. Not an easy opening shot on the two here for Banyares.
Well, has a nice shot here on the purple five. Window between the eight and rather with it between the nine and the rail. He's going for that. Looks to be the key shot now. Might be using the nine as a stopper here as he takes on the seven. Yeah, he's going to be nudging the nine out of the way. Stun and taking the nine to the corner. Simple follow for the ten. Uh, three straight wins for Jericho Banyares. 117. Three straight wins for Pandai. Yes, but it's SVB trying to break on the side. Look at this. Wow. <laughs> that break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. He got the nine and the three. Well, unfortunately, no open shot on the one. Wow, that was crazy strong. I've never seen a side break that powerful. Well, a push out, it's going to be a thinking game now. Well, he tried to make the one. One off the two. Oh, oh. okay. Oh, trying something okay. out, Shane. Yeah. No good. I could see Shane there trying to say something. <laughs> Open layout for Pandai. Five ball to the side. Just a simple bounce. Banyares is going to be winning four straight. What a start. Okay, so Banyares now 18 points. Wow. Very good start for the Philippines. That break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial, looking for his fifth straight win here. Jericho Banyares. Well, no open shot. Is he trying to jump? Just measuring up for a jump, I Considering guess. Considering to jump over the six. He's going to be pushing out. Still pushing for a jump. 
Well, height advantage for Shane because it's going to be easier for him to lean over. To reach out for the shot, yeah. Okay, nicely done. Nicely done. Looks like another jump, maybe. Maybe not. It looks like he has enough of the two. Thought he got hooked there by the seven. Extension cold. Extension cold. Go in the corner. Oh, well, looks like he's jumping above the seven. Using his plane cue. Oh, yeah. So apparently he got hooked a bit. Yes, so it's like a semi jump. between the seven and three. Back for the four. Three rails. Back for the three, rather. Six. Three, six to the side. Hello to James Brinson from Lincoln City, Oregon. Well, it's going to be four, five straight wins for Jericho Banyares this time. Started at 21 14. He gets to 19. That's going to be five straight. It's amazing how quickly that seven point lead can vanish. You better keep down with that build up. You don't want to jinx Jericho Banyares. <laughs> well, just stating my thoughts. Jeffrey Jimenez, they are playing with a four and a half or maybe four and a quarter inch pocket. The blacksmith with another. Yet another dry break. He left a long cut on the one. One ball, corner pocket. Stanchion with a bit of a tester here. Stanchion. two-way shot he was playing of course to make the one but at the same time he wants to get safe just in case one real kick using the blue two nicely done Well, that was crafty. Well, Banyaris is now going for his jump cue.
Well, nice roll there. Leaves an angle. Very much, it looks like Shane. All he needs to do is just get onto the right spots for each shot. And, well, precisely getting the right or the correct angle for the five. Looks like this rack is done. It's going to be his first win for this evening. On his way for his first win tonight. This 10 ball for his 22nd win. There you go. As brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Shout out to Ruben Starr and Mr. Jose Haen. Joe Pau, thank you for tuning in. Dry break from Banyares. No shot on the one for SVB. Push. Push out, Goes for a push. Option. He's thinking about jumping over. Looks like he changed his mind. Left the shot for SVB. <laughs> Nicely done. Looks like Shane hasn't left himself an easy shot on the three. Could be a saving grace for Jericho Pañares, I believe. But that push on the one, that was a clever tactic from Shane. He knows that Jericho Pañares will be having a hard time reaching for that jump. That's right. Well, it's part of... Some of the advantages Shane has over Jericho. Height advantage, that's right. Well, you see that combination? That wasn't easy by any means. Makes it look easy. Never seen somebody so, so calm, so confident. Mm, landed on the wrong side. So he's going to go for the short side. Pretty much it looks like SVB has this. This 10 ball for two straight wins. Shane gets 
with this break brought to us by Rapa. Back to the center. Very center of the <laughs> Wow. Well, Six ball denied to the side. That's right. Nothing down. And, but it's going to be still tricky with the two and the seven tied up. Mm. Might be looking for a safety after the one. Uh oh. Cue ball down. Well, that's the worst thing Jericho Banyares could have done. The only way SVB would have had an advantage with him from him this rank. Looking to take the two ball to the far corner pocket. He's going to play this cue ball forward for the three. Well, with this layout, once again, pretty much obvious now. Very minimal errors as VB commits. He could actually finish this layout with his eyes closed. Well, it looks like the eight to the side, that's going to be the last, let's say, relatively difficult shot he's going to be taking on the eight. Three balls away, and it's safe to say. Okay, yeah. yes. And Banyares is breaking right now. Brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Makes a ball. Well, lands with a nice shot here in the two. Picks the one. Well, he has a chance to run out now. It's a matter of obviously making the balls and getting correct position for every shot. Doesn't look like there's any problem ball here. There might be any. It would be from the four to the five to the six. Might be playing the six forward enough to take the seven to the side. And he lands on the right side. There you go. Another simple roll. Eight ball to the other side pocket. Three balls away for Jericho Banyares. Score line of 24-20 coming right up.
another win for Jericho. This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Three ball denied to the corner, but he got the two down. We might be looking at a bank here to the side. One ball to the side. Left the one. He's still okay with the three. Three passes the green six. Medyo mahihirapan nga lang talagang mag-bounce. O yun, kaya pocket speed na lang ang ginawa niya doon. Okay, so the five passes the nine. Shouldn't be a problem here. The only problem is the seven. Might be knocking the seven after making the six. Or the eight. There you go. Oh, but he got into trouble. Mm -hmm. He wanted to hit the eight very squarely. Seven ball, quarter ball. And he's looking to kick at this. Kick and make the seven to the corner. Natural position here for the eight. Oh. Okay. Not a bad leave though. Still a difficult seven for SVB. He was trying to find refuge for the cue ball, but instead he left an open shot on the seven. Guys, check the shot out. We're gonna see something good. There you go. Uh oh. Oh. Well, good for Jericho Banyares. That was one hell of a draw. Another lease on life for Jericho.
Banyares gets his 21st win. Win number 20. Once again, the break brought to you by Ropa Commercial coming from Jericho Banyares. Makes a ball off that break. Well, he's trained by three points. And the good thing for him is a shot here on the one. Malaki na yung pinaggaiba ng Sargo ni Jericho Banyares as opposed to last night's game. Ganda na ngayon ng kanyang Sargo. Got the eight down. Well, pretty much the break is everything for these guys. Mm -hmm. He's landed fairly straight here. And you know what makes it difficult if that one ball is frozen? It's going to be tough for him to avoid hitting the point of the side. Uh, makes it go anyhow. We have Stephanie Paul saying, Thank you for your hard work. Hello from South Dakota. Of course, rooting for the South Dakota kid. Thank you, Stephanie. Okay, and so he lands here on the five nicely. Jericho Banyares looks like he has a chance to get within a two point deficit coming from Shane's score. That's going to go. But this. Mm -hmm. Well, I suggest safety using the 10. Could be. There you go. All right, nice. Nicely done. Done. He, he just, yeah, he called the six. Wow. That was a great shot. Same pocket for the seven. <laughs> I rest my case. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it just went in, and that was a great shot, and we're all good with that. Nothing new for SVB. Man. <laughs> wow. We got to check that shot once again. And breaking from <laughs> the center. Once again, brought to you by Ropa Commercial. And Looks like again. the two no. doesn't want to go. Nothing down. Yeah. All that action, nothing down. This rack might be ended with a 7-10 or carom. Carom on the 7-10. That's right. Okay, so going to be taking this four to the side. Clearly, the six 
will be played if he takes it on the short side but if he takes it to the nearest corner pocket it's going to be a combination Sabi naman ni Ayan Andres, we have SVB also locally. Walang himala. Baka si, ano yan, si Balboning. <laughs> Shoutout kay, ano, kay Balbon. Well, he's just gonna have to line up for the caram shot here on the 10. Or possibly the combination as he steadily rolls forward. Yeah. Going for a 7 10 combination. That's win number 22. Yeah, courtesy of Jericho Banyares. Binabati natin si Chidel na naguhugas ng mga pinggan from Benjamin Hines watching over at YouTube. Thank you very much. Billiard Grinder over at YouTube. Uh, mix of English and Filipino. This break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Going for a push out now. We have a very familiar name here over at YouTube, Mike Coleman. Hello. Thank you for watching. Also, thank you to Mr. Benjamin Hines. Hello to Nathan O'Day or Odette from Bridport, Vermont, USA. Frank Nordman, all the way from Rockland, California, U.S. Okay, yeah. nice shot there on the one. Does he land on the two? Well, he has gotten it perfect. Easy for him. Well, looks like he can draw this. It's all up to him. Yes, and a nice draw there. Leaves himself. Fairly easy shot here on the red three. Might be playing for the short side of the four. Yes, thanks, Mr. Jason Foster and YouTube. Good day to you as well. Let's see how this turns out. Apparently, Banyares is catching up, looking to get within two points of Shane. And... Slight draw here on the six. Well, he has landed nicely. This looks like a rack in his favor. And at this point, going to be getting 23, pulling within two points.
23rd win for Jericho Banyares. There you go. <laughs> si Balbon. <laughs> this break is brought to us by Robert Commercial. Eight ball to the side. Drops the one. And gets a shot on the two. We know what's next here. That's right. We know the what's more next. more common break that we're used to seeing from mm -hmm. this guy. Wow, force follow coming off that too. Sending the cue balls, spinning and dancing around. <laughs> that was nice. Looks like he's going to be helped here by the nine. Well. Pretty much this rack is over barring any unforeseen circumstances that is any jinxes Frank Nordman over at Facebook asking what table brand and cloth we're using here well this is a Brunswick crown 4 and gold crown 4 with a with a Simonis or Simonis 860 Right? 860 shark gray. All the way from Davao City, Darwin the Badass Bernada is watching with us. Here comes SVB with win number 26. There you go. With a nice break and run out. And that break by Jericho is brought to you by one of our sponsors, Rapa Commercial. He has gotten a shot. He has made a ball, but the shot on the two, definitely not easy. Two ball, corner pop. The miss coming from Banyares and that too. It was never going to be easy, but he tried to make it. Once again, Van Boning looks to be getting another chance for a four point lead. Ball shot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Well, that was that was probably the first time I've seen Shane miss and come up with a scratch. Yeah, bad miss there from Shane. Alvin Alcantara to answer a question. Shane Van Boning is 39 years of age and Jericho Banyares on the other hand is 33. Well, if there's going to be any concern for Jericho, it's the 6 and the 9, or rather the 7 and the 9, the brown 7. seven. seven He's going to be addressing that right now via combination with the 5. Easy to avoid 
colliding with the 10. Might be taking the 8 on the same corner pocket where he takes the 6. Coming up a bit short here. Not exactly a tester for this guy. This has to be a bit cautious. No, not a problem really. Okay, Banyares once again is catching up. Banyares gets win number 20. Looking to get ahead more this time. Once again, that break is brought to you by Ropa Commercial. Okay, the three. and <laughs> It's just such a solid break. A pure solid break. Pure I mean, solid break. A lot of hard breakers here in the Philippines, but nobody hits them as pure as this guy. Shane hits it with full of power and grace. That's right. As if there's no power loss. That's right. Or if there's any, very minimal. And well, once again with this layout, looks like he has to adjust just a some number of things like the six. Definitely looks like he wants to take this to the side. Okay, instead maybe he wants to play the seven. Either to the corner or the side. He can draw this, definitely won't scratch. M might just hit the point. Okay, nice stun. Hi there, Dan McKenna over at Facebook. Ronald. Tabion from Pangasinan. Also to Glenn Bedania. And nicely getting close to the nine using inside two rails as well. Wow, great. Might be using two rails as well at this nine. Closer to the ten. Or oh, just one. Okay. Oh. He's okay. He's okay. <laughs> Making things more interesting for us. SVB pulls another a bit longer in the past years. Well, I think he it hasn't changed. Not sure about that though. But that break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. Robert A. from Houston. A lot of balls on the right side. Looks like he can easily make the eight here. Oh, went wide. David Sapple is here saying, what a nice layout. <laughs> All the balls on the what, right side? Right side of our right perspective, side. yes. 
from our perspective, yeah. Kairos Dragon over at YouTube saying, Sharks Live is my therapy after five days of stressful work. Wow. Means a lot. Thank you very much, Kairos. Yes, you're very much welcome. Sharks Live is our work. And we're happy about that. And, well, he has played a nice safety here. Going to be tough for SVB to make contact with this, too. Looks like he went for an intentional foul there. SVB. Now still has to play a nice combination with the 5 and the 4. A lot of combinations actually. 2. Unless of course he's taking the 3 to the side. And that I believe he's doing. He looks like he has to run his cue ball th three rails possibly, maybe two, just like this with spin. Where is this heading? Oh, still decent, still makeable. Mm -hmm. Thing is, he's gonna have to use the bridge or maybe use his extension now. You can see that telescopic extension that he has. Are we seeing a kill action on the cue ball or will he go up and down? Nice kill action there. Great shot. Win number 25 for the blacksmith. Jerry can run out. Same as what he got last time he broke. That break is brought to you by Ropa Commercial. Look at that. Not exactly easy on the one, but what do you think? Well, he might go for a cut. Some check side, maybe. I don't know. I'm not SVB. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, there you go. Great call. Continue lang SVB kana. How I wish. And right now, well, it's a matter of speed control with this draw that he's doing. Nice speed. Kind of overcooked it just a bit. Probably was planning to take it on the side all along. 
Not a problem for him. Wow. Uh-oh, got into trouble with the six. That's right. Mm. Uh, this is where you jump using a dart stroke, I believe. Unless, of course, he doesn't want to. He's not risking it. Went for a kick. And he sells out the four. And, well, looks like it's going to be a run out. And catching up is Jericho Banares. Swerve there coming from Banyares. Spun that five in. Nicely done. Yes, but he's on the wrong side of the six if he's going to play position for the eight ball. Now it becomes tough. Extension hold. Side. Six ball, side pocket. Now he's going for the short side. Needs that cue ball to be off the rail. Well, going to be the last difficult shot he's taking on Jericho Banyares. For him to be within one point of SVB. Once again, break brought to you by Rapa Commercial. And it's a dry break, and he can't believe it. Jericho. Well, let's see how Shane deals with this. What a pure shot there. Very minimal movement. Lots of power. Not much spin, just enough for him to get towards the center. Amazing. He's going to be shooting the four now. Looks like he's going to be maybe trying to avoid the eight as he takes this on. Well, this is one a bit too fast, but still very much big over Shane on the five. Nice on the six. Well, pretty much it looks like Shane is going to be getting ahead of two points. Getting ahead two points off that score of Banyares once again.
two balls away, Shane. Well, coming for a dry break of Banyares. And there we have it. It's going to be tough for us. Anyway, here's SVB breaking right now. He makes a ball, makes two balls, and he has landed a shot here on the yellow. Well, that was a nice cut there. If this is going to be a run out, that was the shot that set it up. Or rather, the break set it up, but the opening shot, equally important. Because not all opening shots are easy. Just, just like the one he just made. Next time he has landed perfect here for the red. Pretty much we are. We are safe here to assume that this rack is going to SVB. Mr. Stamatis Pool watching on Facebook Live. Well, I know this guy. Moderator in, in one Facebook group that I know. And playing two rails back towards the center for the five. Landed nicely. Two rails once again bouncing using outside spin. And well, pretty much perfect on, on the six. Anywhere is good. Honestly, for the longest time, we have been running sharks and having professional pool players from the Philippines and inviting other players from other countries. So the moment we've learned that Blanca Hagayan. Good evening. Once again, that break is brought to us by Rapa Commercial. And look at this. It looks like a dry break for Banyares. And with an open layout, once again, the opening shot, pretty much one of the most important shots here. Shane has landed nicely on the two with an angle to spare to get closer to the red three. Nice low roll. Pretty much the five, which is the purple ball, goes to either corner pocket. The angle he needs here on the five, probably where it would be easy for him to either draw off the five for the six. That's going to be the key shot, I believe. The eight might be in the way in a few moments. Looks like he wants to draw this, so it's going to be about controlling the cue ball off the five. Nice control. Now, clearly, he doesn't have to be concerned about the eight because right now it's just about getting closer to the seven. And this looks like it's nice speed. Yeah, pretty nice. With a nice angle as well. Could be playing two reels. Possibly three. Let's see. Two reels it is.
and lands nicely here on the 9 an angle might be bouncing off two rails for the 10 and he's out and there you have it SVB now with and he's breaking and he's looking for another break and run out we can see a lot of power in that break once again, brought to you by our sponsors, Raw Pack Commercial, but that's a scratch. Okay, something he doesn't want to do quite often. Lost the cue ball a bit. Now, Banyares is just checking whether that 6 10 are wired for a combination. Looks like he has landed nicely on the red. Well, it looks like the six goes past the ten. This corner pocket on the bottom left of your screens. Needs more of an angle here on the five. Make it easier for him to stun. Or maybe the ten goes directly. So we'll see as he plays this. And he's playing the combination and well, that means only one thing, he has 27 points after he makes that around the world by far. That break is brought to you by Rapa Commercial. Well, he comes up with a nice break but look at this, 7 is blocking a direct shot here in the 2. And he's going to have to push out eventually. Push Hopefully out. make some... Come up with a strategy. Work against Shane. <laughs> Tough shot on the two. How about a bank? Extension call. Well, he has taken his extension, time extension that is. Well, he's going to be using the 10 and oh, he has given a shot. Fell short. That was a risk. But had he hooked Jericho Banyares with that 10, that could have been easily a chance for him to win. Banyares still has to negotiate while he bumps the 8. Because apparently after making the 2, the 8 ball is going to be in the way of the cue ball. Wow, look at this. So trying his best to avoid that black ball. He calls across bank. Wow, never imagined that. What a great shot. All of a sudden, it's an open layout for Banyares. Gonna cut that lead down to two. And Mr. Reno and Lynn Villanueva, is that, did I get that correct? Greetings to you, sir. Watching from Virginia Be Beach. Salamat din. And going to get position on the 8. Might be rolling this just a bit forward to bump the 9 nicely. 
And the question here from Mr. Michael Borke. What is the race to? It's a race to 63 three-day challenge. Tonight, first player to get 42 points is going to be ending this second day. It's a three-day event. Tomorrow, it's going to be concluded. And, well, Banyar is now with 28. Do something out of this. Makes the seven. Nice break brought to you by Ropa Commercial. Wow. <laughs> that was three balls off his break. Lands a shot here under two. Could be going for it. SVB. Well, caught it just a bit too thin. One of the few times we see SVB miss. And good evening from the Philippines, Mr. Jose Estevez. Estevez, watching from NYC. 9.30 in the morning there, 9.30 in the evening here. Hope you enjoy this. going for the simple safety but I think he has left maybe a rail first or a swerve here of a shot on the two yeah. or well he is going for a kick easy for him to make contact I believe let's see what the results are well goes a bit short SVB extracting ball in hand here from Jericho. We know what's next. Lands with a nice shot here in the red three. Nice angle as well. Good evening to Mr. John El Cabasan watching from Antipolo City. And Mr. Denver Agan Gandola watching from Iloilo. Mr. Jeffrey Mirar. Sharks loves you too. And perfect here on the 8th, which is the key shot from the 7 to the 8th. Now down to the 9. And going to be easy here on the 10 for another point. Okay, there you have it. SV. Once again, brought to you by Ropa Commercial. And you might have guessed right, it's a dry break. That's going to be something he has to figure out. Not tonight, maybe tomorrow. Two ball, quarter puppy. Mr. Jason Foster, here comes the Sahara model of Brunswick Sahara model. Wow, combination on the two. <coughs> Mr. David Trexler on Facebook. Score after day one, 21 to 14. And Miss Madeline Icaro, thanks for sending us stars here on Facebook Live. 75 stars to be precise. 
and Jackie Diamond watching from New Jersey you're very much welcome Mr. Charles Keller saying hello from Sedalia, Missouri and Alan Ray Alegado Cesar Buenas tardes Señor Looks like he has got it nice here in the Purple 5 Extension ball Wait a minute, has he called the 7 ball? 5 ball, corner puck Is that what he called? No pocket I believe Wow what a shot. That was precise. It looks like once again gonna be a run out here. Once again gonna be leading by four SVB. After a dry break coming from Banyares. There you have it, SVV now with 32. 